Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Anna, and I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup routine currently. So I'm gonna start with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I have normal to dry skin, so this is really good because it's really hydrating. And it gives you a little bit of extra moisture. I'm starting with clean skin. I've already done all my skincare, and I've given it a couple minutes to soak in. I'm gonna start with, um, I really am liking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. That's a long name. Um, it's on the more matte side, but I'll show you in a minute how I like to make it more dewy. Um, but it's really full coverage, but you don't really need a lot. So I'm gonna start painting this on using the foundation brush from Bobbi Brown just to get a really thin layer. And then I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and just pat that in. This foundation dries really quickly, so you wanna kind of work fast and just kind of work in little sections. Like don't dot it all over your face, cause I've done that. And then it won't blend out and I'm like, a lot of people will be like, this is a terrible foundation, but you just might not be using it the right way. Um, if I feel like I need a little bit more, I'll go over again. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the color um, 1 and 2 in van vanilla, vanilla, I don't know, vanilla. I've been a huge fan of her Silk Cream Foundation for years. And so I'm really happy that she came out with this one, um, which I think I like even more actually. You can definitely apply this any way that you want to. Um, I just like using a brush and then a beauty blender because um, I find that that's easiest for me. The beauty blender, like you can just dip your beauty blender like straight into your hand and then go on your face and that's fine. but. The Beauty Blender was designed more to be like an airbrushing tool. So you can just kind of use your hands or use a brush and then go over at the end and it really just like seamlessly blends everything out. Next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this stuff's amazing. It's like really full coverage. You really don't need much. Um, and it really doesn't crease very much at all. Um, it's really good for if you have pretty dark circles like I do. It's not as good for more mature skin because of how matte it dries. I'm also using my Beauty Blender to blend that and I'm using the color Fair Neutral which is a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone so it is just gonna brighten under my eye. I'm also going to take a little bit of that on my eyelids. As you can see, my eyelids are like super veiny. And so I like to kind of conceal that and then it'll give something for eyeshadow or anything else to stick to. So clearly that makes a huge difference. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This is a classic. Um, I feel like everybody has one of these. And I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and press in a little bit. And then I'm just gonna press under the eye. I'm not doing like full on baking because I feel like it can be a little bit much, but I'm just pressing a little bit in and then I'm gonna dust it away. I'm going in on my chin and kind of around my nose, anywhere that I get a little like oily throughout the day, just so that's not gonna move. This foundation though, it's pretty like self-setting, so you don't really need to powder unless you find that you get like particularly oily, but I don't, so. Now I'm just gonna take my MAC 130 and dust that away. This is a great multi-purpose brush. 
you can use it for anything. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer in the color Laguna, which is a classic. This is different than the normal, like the Laguna that you always hear about. That one has like some glitter in it, but this one's just matte. And I'm going in with my MAC 1 187. And a pretty light hand, just warming up the face. I like to do what some people call like brawn touring, so it's not quite bronzing, but it's not quite contouring, so I'm kind of shaping my face, but it's not anything crazy, but it's also, you know, it's still giving you some shape to your face. I like to bronze from my forehead, where the sun would hit your forehead, and then on the cheeks and under the jaw. Okay, now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite blushes of the moment, which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the color Luminous Flesh, which all their products are really beautiful. Like, I love all of their packaging. I'm just going to smile and pop that on my cheekbone and then like right on the apple of my cheek and then just blend it back towards my hairline. I like for it to be more of like a flush because I feel like if it's just in that one spot it makes you, it just looks more fake and it looks like you're like a little porcelain doll, which I guess isn't a bad thing, but for me and my face this is what I like. I think it looks more natural like how you would actually flush in real life. And I go, I go a little bit heavy on the blush. Um, I just feel like it makes you look so fresh and awake. Um, and it might look crazy right now, but I promise at the end you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. It used to look like an actual bar of gold, but this is like a super creamy, beautiful gold highlight. I'm gonna go in with her Powder and Sculpt brush. Just kind of swirl that around. Go in on my cheekbones. And then bring it up kind of through my temple and like above my brow right there. I love highlighter and I love glowing skin. I just feel like it looks so fresh. It makes you look so healthy. And then go down my nose. Basically, I put this all over my face, <laughs> on my forehead a little bit, but the main places you want to focus on is kind of this C shape right here. And I like the little nose highlight, I think it looks cute. Alright, so that's my face pretty much done, just my skin, and so now I'm going to go in, this is one of my favorite things right now, this is the Tatcha. Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. A lot of people don't like this because they feel like um, it makes you a little bit look a little sweaty, but I'm kind of into it. So, one of my friends and I always joke about like loving to look greasy and sweaty, but I guess when you have dry skin, you always want what you don't have. So, all right, so I'm just going to close my eyes and mist this all over my face. And I like to use quite a bit, clearly. <laughs> so you can probably see how it already is like giving me this kind of glow. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna powder just like kind of right between <laughs> my eyebrows because I feel like to be like really shiny right there is like not the most flattering Thing. Everywhere else, like, you can get away with it, but right there when the sun is like, it just, it's not a good look. Okay, now 
So I'm gonna do the eyes. So I like to do the skin mist before I do the eyes because I feel like the, I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but whatever like emollient ingredient is in there can sometimes mess with my mascara and make it a little like, I don't know, like clumpy where like it wasn't before. So I like to do that, let it dry and then move on. For every day, I like to keep it really simple. And so I'm gonna go back with the bar of gold and I'm gonna go in with my MAC 217. This is a classic. And I'm just going to, you can see my, smooth out any little creases that I got. Just gonna dust this all over the lid. And I'm gonna take a little bit up on the brow bone. I'm the kind of girl that totally neglects her eyebrows. I like don't care at all. Like every two months I'll feel crazy and I'll pluck them like a little bit and then I forget about them for another two months. You know, I figure just ride out the trend. I was born with huge eyebrows so might as well just let them be themselves. So I'm popping that on the lid in the little inner corner because I think that looks really nice and kind of just like brightens up your face. And then I'm going to take it just under the brow bone, even though I have lots of little hairs there, but what can you do? <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go in back with that bronzer that I used, the um, Laguna bronzer from NARS. And I'm just going to swirl this and take that into the crease of my eye. Same brush, just for every day, keeping it simple. So I like to just kind of work this back and forth, just kind of creating a nice natural shadow. So my eye shape is, it's not quite what you would consider hooded, but it's similar to someone like maybe Blake Lively, where like when I look straight at you, you really don't see much of my eyelid. So when I do an eyeshadow color in my crease, I need to do it a little bit above my natural crease, otherwise you just won't see it. So I'm really gonna bring it up above there. And I think that looks really nice. It kind of just warms up your face. So I always like to check, so you know, I'm looking down I'm putting it in the crease, but then making sure that I look straight ahead to make sure that I like how it looks, just kind of dead on, because, you know, no one's gonna see me walking around like this. This is what you're actually gonna see. All right, and then I'm gonna take the same brush and just drag a little bit of this under the eyes just to create kind of a natural shadow. Because I feel like to be to have concealer all the way up to your lash line just doesn't really look natural. Like that's not really how your face normally is. So I think it helps kind of balance everything out. All right, and then before I go in with mascara, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this clear brow gel from uh, MAC, which is clearly very well loved. Um, I like this one because I feel like it just like, it hardens and it is not going anywhere. It's like almost a little bit crunchy, but I don't know, I like it. And I like my brows to look kind of like scruffy, so I'll just comb them up like that. And then I'll just kind of smooth down any of the crazy ones. I feel like it makes such a difference. You wouldn't think it does, but since my brows are so big, I don't normally fill them in. But I do do this because I feel like brows like this just kind of look like they're frowning. <laughs> so, I like to make them all scruffy and pointed up. Like even if I don't use a gel and I just like brush them up, they won't stay, so I'll, you know, I'll look at myself hours later and they're all frowning again. So that's why I like to use a gel. I'm gonna go in with my favorite lash curler, which is the one from Trish McAvoy. Um, I just find that 
I don't know, it does a really good job. And sometimes with cheap lash curlers, the um, little, like the rubber part can like split. And so when you like press down on it, your lashes are being like shoved down into like the like crack of it. And it like really, I don't know, makes your lashes do weird things. So that's why I like this one. It's super sturdy. I'm just gonna go on and hold this for a couple seconds. A lot of people, when I'm doing makeup, I'm like, can I do like, can I curl your eyelashes? And they're like, no, please don't. <laughs> But it's not scary, I promise. It'll change your life. My eyelashes are pretty long, but they're very straight and they're very blonde. So, or not very blonde, but they are blonde. So, when I curl my lashes and I use um, a good mascara, it just like changes the whole game. So I'll just go kind of back and forth and I'll kind of pump it, like squeeze it multiple times until I kind of like how it's looking. And then I'm gonna go in with my all time favorite mascara, which is the Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal. And I use the waterproof version. I have tried so many mascaras and I cannot find one that I like more than this. Like I said, my lashes are really straight naturally, so they don't really hold a curl well unless it's like a really good firm mascara. This is really hard to get off though, so there is that. I have to use something that has like a lot of oil in it, otherwise it's not coming off. But it's good if you have kind of stubborn lashes or, you know, if you're getting married and you think you might cry, something like that. So I like to kind of blink it on. And I'll just go kind of back and forth just to make sure that I'm holding that curl because I don't want to be working on one and then the other one falls. So I like a lot of mascara, maybe more than your average girl, but I feel like this mascara does a really good job of like separating so it's not like super clumpy and gross, um, but that's normally what I do. I just keep layering it up until I like the volume. I love lashes. Um, I had lash extensions for a couple weeks, months, but anytime I get anything like that, like if I get lash extensions or hair extensions or acrylic nails, like for one week, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I am gorgeous. And then after that, I'm like, oh my gosh, get these off with me, I feel gross, and I just wanna like rip them out. So I need to learn better to not put myself in these situations because I know that I don't do well. <laughs> but yeah, so sticking with mascara for now. And for the bottom lashes, I use the Trish McAvoy Lash Curling Mascara in Jet Black. Um, this is a tubing mascara, and so it does not smudge whatsoever. Okay, so that's pretty much the eyes finished for me. I just realized my nose ring's popping out. Um, now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier um, lip liner in the color Naked. This is a perfect, like, my lips but better shade. At least it is for me. Um, so I'm just gonna line the lips. Now, I'm not someone that has a very, like, defined natural lip line and so I do kind of overline just slightly just to make it a nicer shape just overlining just slightly like not Kylie Jenner level but just to give myself a little bit of a fuller lip So it's a nice, like really natural color for my um, complexion. And then to top it off, I'm gonna use the High Shimmer Lip Gloss from Bobbi Brown in the shade Bear Sparkle. This is a great, just like nude. It looks really nice over like anything. So there you have it, that's the gloss on. And I think that looks really nice. Um, so that's kind of a 
not too complicated everyday routine. Thank you for watching.